This video demonstrates the operation of the PT-6. The bed size of the PT-6 is 48 inches deep by 96 inches wide. This permits the fabrication of a wide range of products. 42 pairs of form arms define the inner surface of the component to be formed. The position of the form arms is controlled by a series of DC stepper motors, which are linked to the computer control system. This system allows the manufacturer to rapidly set up and manufacture a component without the use of forms or templates of any kind. Once entered, all the pertinent manufacturing information to make a part is stored on the computer hard drive and can be recalled at any time to produce an identical component. A heavy stainless steel band suspended over the bed by two carriages is tensioned by hydraulic brakes and is used to form the component to the form arms and provide the necessary laminating pressure. The component to be formed is merely placed on the stock positioners. The machine has a maximum width capacity of 11 inches and is provided with two sets of adjustable stock positioners, permitting two parts to be ran per machine cycle. Pressing a button on the console begins the machine cycle. The overhead bridge moves forward and the tension stainless steel band forms the component to the form arms. Once the part is cured, the machine automatically cycles to prepare for the removal of the part. A stainless steel or wood filler is used on the inside of the part being formed. The filler distributes the contact force of the form arms uniformly along the inside surface of the part. Let's take a closer look at the machine details. Each of the 42 pairs of form arms are mounted on a common drive shaft, which is in turn coupled to a geared stepper motor. Once the stepper motors have positioned the form arms in their correct location, they are individually locked firmly in place by a hydraulic clamp built into the base of each form arm. This provides a stable, accurate surface to define the inner perimeter of the pot to be formed. The heavy stainless steel band is suspended over the bed by two carriages. The stainless steel band is tensioned by adjustable hydraulic brakes and used to form the component to the form arms and provide the necessary laminating pressure. The stainless steel tension band is also the negative conductor for the radio frequency generator. The bridge is mounted on machine slides and driven by a large gear motor. The forward motion of the bridge forces the stainless steel band against the component and forms the component to the form arms. A large bank of pneumatic cylinders is suspended below the bridge and behind the carriage. These cylinders will be automatically actuated by the computer when forming parts with a straight leg section. The control console is designed around a standard PC platform. The PT6 console is separate from the radio frequency generator console. The man machine interface is straightforward. Part geometrical data is entered into the systems via a Windows like environment. Compensation for spring in and spring out can be added separately to each arch section. The program includes machine diagnostics and online help features. Parts can be graphically represented on the computer screen.
The PT6 can also form aluminum extrusions. The extrusions must first be encapsulated in a UHMW form to support the piece during the forming operation. The UHMW form supports the sections of the profile that are subjected to compressive forces during the forming process. There is no curing or cooling cycle when forming aluminum extrusions. The part is merely loaded into the machine and the bending cycle initiated. The machine will then automatically form the component.